take to part one of the Great Awakening map. So I can't emphasize how important it is to practice this. When I took this, I started to do this more, which led me to look into all of these things basically over here. So if you wanna do that, I'm pretty sure this is really good for that, which basically the sun is safe to look at. I wanna say the last 30 minutes, but I always do about the last 15 minutes of sunset and or the first 15 of the sunrise. Anyways, Gaia, which is really cool, that it's on this map. It's basically like a Netflix, but for people who are interested in spirituality, even ancient civilizations, just hidden knowledge, basically. Gaia is a really cool um, place to like subscribe to. All right, let's get into some of the conspiracy shit. While I haven't done a ton of research if there like, are legit reptilians, I definitely think there's dark, like Luciferian, whatever you want to call it, energy within government, politics, whatever. And Disney Club 33, I definitely believe is a thing. And when you understand that the Freemasons basically go up to the 33rd degree. See, numbers are very important in like this matrix, essentially. Three, six, and nine are very powerful numbers. So it doesn't surprise me that it's 33 because that adds up to six. Six, six, six. You get it, you get what I'm saying. Great. So, Antarctica. That's just like one of those things where I'm like, you're telling me the governments can't agree to shit, but they can agree to not fly over Antarctica? I don't know about like if there's an actual like Nazi breakaway group, which would make sense because the US government, aka Operation Paperclip, which is somewhere over here. Oh, there you go. Project Paperclip. <clears throat> definitely was a thing where they took Nazis, knowing they were Nazis, and used them to advance our science or whatever, sure. Oh, also when I started taking psychedelics, I started seeing a lot of these again. And then I started looking up, what does that mean? Like what are synchronicities and then angel numbers and blah, blah, blah. Like I truly believe the universe will communicate with you through numbers and shit. Light body, so I basically think we're all like light. We are made of stars, right? So like the higher vibrations, maybe the more we shine, I, you know, like someone's like shining. I just feel like all this shit's like within our culture and stuff, we just don't realize like what it means. They're glowing. like they're their light is shining. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, uh, that is going to do it for this video. I'm still sick, so I apologize for how I sound, but I hope you guys liked. And oh, one last thing, chemtrail. They're real. That's not even a conspiracy anymore. Look up, it's called solar geoengineering. They're finally putting a name to it, even though it's been happening for years. So look at your sky. You see long like clouds that are just sitting flat and look like they came from an airplane trail. Like that's what you're seeing. It's a lot of it around. And what's really interesting, sorry, again, I'm, I can go on tangents, y'all. One last thing, as I noticed, they try to normalize it in a lot of TV shows. So like Breaking Bad, I noticed in the desert a lot, so many chemtrails in those shots. I'm just like, oh my God, they're trying to make this look like normal. It's like, no, the clouds do not look like that. Anyways, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you for part four, I think, because this is kind of part one redo.